Hey, what's going on, guys? This is some Psycho back with the Combo Crew. Got Suga and our boy Pro Logic. Hey, what's going on, guys? AKA Slava. <laughs> I'm transitioning to yeah, yeah. So, my online YouTube. Just to let him know because you've been in other podcasts. So, um, basically, it's going to be another video game podcast. We got a slew of topics we want to discuss. Um, one of them being, uh, what is it like online versus offline? The differences and what our opinions are on that. DRM. DRM. Piracy. Piracy. <laughs> Just Digital rights media. Yeah. Just saying whatever you guys are saying. <laughs> so if you Big guys want to yeah. <laughs> go ahead, guys. I mean, what do you want? What do you want to say about the first topic? Well, what do you want to start off with? I mean, I think we're we, we should start on at least the single player, and then move in how uh, multiplayer has really uh, stepped up uh, in the mm-hmm. industry here. Okay. And then go from there and kind sure. of you know pick up. All right. So what do you want? Stand. So how, how do you want to start? So. Well, uh, I mean, I think the big push right now is, uh, away from single player, uh, that's, you know, not online to single player that requires, uh, uh, constant connection to the internet. Yeah. And, uh, the biggest, um, you know, players in that is Ubisoft and, um, uh, what's that? Uh, buddies, EA. Yeah. Blizzard yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, Diablo. Blizzard. Yeah. That, that's actually a good point. Cause remember Diablo 1, Diablo 2 is a, fully single player experience you yep. know and it still kind of is a fully you can still play it single player but you kind of have to be online you know logged into battle net yep and you know log in with your password and all that other stuff and pretty much if you go offline so does your character you know, really? yeah yeah diablo diablo 3 was was i think probably one of the first ones starcraft 2 also uh requiring a connection um to the internet so okay, even in single player. So these games are pretty old. Can people still play these games? Yeah, Diablo yeah. three still has a pretty good following. Okay, Diablo, what about Starcraft two. Uh, Starcraft is got always gonna have a following, man. Everyone loves even Starcraft. the old old ones. I mean, everyone like people who like Starcraft, you know, two or Starcraft one are still gonna be playing the new Starcraft. I mean, oh, uh, so the old ones are obsolete. Yeah, it's pretty much its own its own thing. I mean, there are people who play like the retro stuff. I mean, you, even like people who play Smash Brothers, you know, they still prefer the sixty four version over the Wii U version, and the Wii U version is obviously more optimized for modern standards with new characters yeah, and all that stuff, but yeah. people still think that the original, you know, 64 version is... The, the Melee best. joined the GameCube, yeah. yeah. GameCube too, yeah, yeah especially. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of, criti- uh, you know, uh, criticism uh, in terms of, you know, having to log in and actually access your game that you paid, you know, $60 for. I personally um, don't like it, but... I mean, that's, it's, you know, we, we don't like it. We, we didn't have internet, then we had internet, and then, you know, you take internet away, internet away from us, and everybody's gonna freak the fuck out. You know? <laughs> so. And I mean, we grew up in a time before so internet. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? But we're adapting, and I think that whole, you know, uh, I guess this whole kind of aspect of, oh, well, you know, having to be online, and if you don't have internet, and that's becoming a problem, I think the biggest problem uh, going forward with this is if you have a game that's always online and then let's say two, three years down the line, mm. it's not as popular mm. and the servers go down, mm-hmm. then how the hell are you going to play the game? I know. Exactly. That's a very good point. I mean, you, you drop 60 bucks on something that you're not going to be able to play. Great example, Titanfall 2. Or Titanfall, not too. Yeah. Two <laughs> I'm waiting for the second one. I can't yeah, wait for Does nobody two. play Titanfall anymore? I mean, they do, but the, it definitely has fallen off. Drastically. So what's the yeah. point of having the disc? Like, I mean, I, I downloaded it. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to those kinds of games, it's usually usually no first point. person shooters like Call of Duty, Titanfall, like Battlefield. I I never buy the disc because unless there's a collector's you know edition, and that's what we've talked about yeah. in the previous you know um, yeah. podcast. Uh, refer to our so first podcast. I personally, <laughs> no, 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 that's not necessarily true. I mean, I buy a lot of like games in disc format. You know, well, I, that's what I'm saying. I just like, mean that type look, of game. Look, 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 Division. I bought, you know, this is on the most second collector's edition. The first one was Fallout 4. Pit Boy um, Edition. Pit Boy. But <laughs> you don't have to, you know, be online to play that game. Yeah. However, the Division, uh, on the other hand, you know, it's, it's, it has to be online. And, you know, let's say, you know, a few years down the line, Server shut down, and uh, that's what I'm my, yeah, my that, collector's that, edition. But that joint came with the watch, all right. So that's pretty tight. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, <laughs> let's just say you bought just bought the regular disc. That that disc is obsolete. 
Yeah, pretty much. Unless they, work. unless for some reason they're just like, you know what, we're gonna patch it so that you can play the single player without being online. And I think they, oh, can they not, actually do that? Yeah, they could. They, they could have, and they did it actually with SimCity. Really? Yeah. Because uh, when the EA released SimCity, oh, man, I remember that. That was a huge um, debacle. It was, it required always online, and people are like, well, we played SimCity, you know, off of a three and a uh, half inch floppy, yeah. well, floppy <laughs> uh, hard disk, and yeah. you know, it's, it's, you don't have to have a connection or anything, but. The new SimCity came out and, you know, you required, it requires a connection or required a connection and people just threw a shit bit. Well, think about it though. It also, the people who bought the game, and we're talking legitimately here. I mean, people actually paid $60, $70, whatever, because they came with a bunch of different editions, I, I believe. Those people who paid that money are trying to play this game and they were kicked out of the game. Because of the servers. Because the servers, because they needed that online connection. Yep. And that is one of the negative things about you know always online that that was that was huge that was lots of people that wasn't just a few people yeah. i mean people were pissed mm. well i mean imagine yeah you buy the you buy the game and you can't play the game because it's not their connection it's actually the you know the companies the the, the, so the, the developers you know yeah. so it, it it's kind of it's kind of a, a double edged sword i guess but i mean cycle you, you you played some city i'm sure you had that yeah I, Super Nintendo yeah I did game. actually I was about to say I had a but Super Nintendo. can you imagine buying say some city for p s four and brand new day of release you know we go out there and we pick up games mm-hmm. day one mm-hmm. uh you get home and you just can't play you just <laughs> get home what happened dude? You yeah that's, that's what happened I mean, me, me and me and ProLogic, we bought it. We're both suckers for SimCity. I mean, it's fun to watch like okay. Godzilla so terrorize. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I remember Super Nintendo. You could see Bowser start yeah. terrorizing. That was because it was Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I know, was but funny. yeah, even even though like, the game, you know, required an online connection, um, it went to single player because people just protested and yeah. there was an online petition. So, so they can actually change it up and just change it to single player. Yeah. Oh. I guess they could, but you know that obviously removes a certain aspect of the game that they were trying to kind of you know buff. Yeah. Uh, and you know with SimCity, it was the ability to create uh, you know a world where you have cooperative play between Which other is players. Pretty badass. It is. It's awesome. Like I mean, you and yeah. I, you know, we 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 actually spent a lot of hours playing. And yeah, we, I could if he if he was having a high crime rate, I could send police, and I had you know I didn't have enough hospitals, he could send ambulances. And even later down the line, you can create the, what was it, the Great Works, where, yep. you know, you create a space program or, or something crazy. Or yeah, something it's really cool. <laughs> it was, it, I know it sounds boring, but it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's like SimCity. <laughs> yeah, you played yeah, SimCity. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it's, it's addicting. I, I, I got addicted pretty yeah. bad on that one. But I think, uh, I mean, as in right now, I, I think Ubisoft is making a big, big move oh, towards yeah. uh, always cool. online gaming. And, uh, the chief, uh, creative officer, his name is Serge, um, he's really extremely passionate about the open world, uh, mm-hmm. always online kind of. And, uh, the first ones I think we, we saw from that was, uh, I think it was Far Cry 3 that kind of introduced the online aspect. Also, Far Cry 4 has the online, offline play where you I know, haven't touched Far Cry 4, or honestly, I didn't even play 3, I kind of just, Last generation had too many first person shooters, so I kind of just, mm. you know, I, I yeah. stick to the one. I played Call of Duty and that's pretty much it. And Titanfall when that comes out, cause I'm a, I get boners for big robots, so. Yeah, Respawn Entertainment, they're, they, 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 I mean, they make a big move. It was a, you know, obviously a risky move, but. I, I mean, let's touch on that for a sec. I think what they were trying to, what they were trying to do was actually pretty admirable. I think it, it, it was a great, it was a great thing that they tried to do. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. You know, I actually didn't really miss a single play. No. I actually had a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, just I mean it wasn't it wasn't as robust as it could be. Yeah. I but, agree. I you agree. know, I mean obviously they, they just had a big buckle with um uh Treyarch and uh, yeah. it was Activision. Um yeah. and you know, they separated, they, they started their own um studio and uh uh you know they they, they created something crazy and um I mean Jumping, you know, go from a first person uh, to a, a a mech, yeah, in online play during single player is pretty awesome. You know, mm-hmm. you have missions here and there, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, it was like it was different. It was different. It's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, Assassin's Creed uh, Four Black Flag also has the online mm-hmm. thing. Uh, Boy, is, um, Assassin's Creed Four is oh yeah, Black, Black Flag, Flag is only online. I, it has the aspect of online. Oh, but so there is a single. It's player. tied yeah. in, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I think all same of with the, Unity. Yeah, Unity, Unity had it. I think the new one. Uh, oh, what was the Syndicate? One? Yeah, Syndicate doesn't have it. Um, um 
The crew. Yeah, the crew. That's a good, that has to be online. That's big. And the crew. It's like a yeah. racing game. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's always online. And um, I haven't played it honestly. I mean, I'm not a big racing game guy, so. And EA is moving a big, big move too. Um, they started with, I believe, Need for Speed Rivals. Mm-hmm. Remember mm-hmm. Um, yeah. when it came out for the new gen, Xbox One and PlayStation Four. Um, that was, you know, it had an online aspect, but it you don't have to, you know, actually uh, log in. But if you wanted mm-hmm. to have the experience, yeah. you have like three or four other players well, even, in the map. Even um. What do you call it? Uh, Forza Horizon? Yeah, Forza Horizon 2. Look yeah. at this. And actually, that was really fun. But they did it. I think they did it. Microsoft, uh, their Forza series is, is on point. I'm not even yeah. going to lie. Mm-hmm. And I don't even like Forza, but I played, I played what, 100 hours in Horizon? Okay, sure, Forza. I mean, it was, it was good. And it was fun <laughs> that you can like, meet up with your friends and run across the landscapes and stuff. Like yeah, they and, did you really jo- well. and you could join you know, other players. Up yeah. to, I don't know how many players. I think it was like up to like... 16 or 12 players total oh, racing across yeah, this like, it, landscape. It's visual. crazy. It was so much fun. I, I never got that from the crew, though. You know, like, the crew looks cool, but, I mean, Forza just... Well, Need just, for Speed, the new one by EA, always yeah. online. Yeah. That always oh, online. Oh, real? Yeah. It's and, a good game. And the, it's fun. The, the thing that they wanted to do was they wanted to create a, um, a cinematic kind of experience where, uh, you know, you can actually... It feels like a movie, almost. They use the... They use the Resident Evil 1 style stuff, you know, like, real Oh, actors. real actors. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Almost, almost as bad acting. <laughs> um, but That's they also stuff. have the Autolog, uh, which is now, I think, called Reboot, uh, which kind of carries on to your stats mm. and who's, you know, who's fastest, yeah. who's got the fastest lap and this and that. And that plays into online gaming as well. So, um, they want to make it, you know, uh, an interactive world out there. So when you log in, you're not just, you know, playing a single player, you're doing, you know, time lapse and yeah. this and that, but you actually have other players that are beating your scores mm-hmm. or, you know, they, I'm, it's like in Forza, you know. Yeah, I must you, say, I'm going to come back to Forza again. I would be playing just doing random missions and I'd see like, oh, you know, Pro Logic got beat your score and I'm like, yep. this motherfucker, he's not going to beat my score. And I'd like try to like actually challenge it. But then even like, you know, <laughs> the, the streets discovered and, you know, the roads discovered and yeah. all that stuff, that, that plays in. You know, you you have uh, uh, clubs and and yeah. all that stuff. That's pretty cool. But the biggest one right now, I believe, that's online, uh, always online, open world, uh, not massive open world, but is Tom Clancy's The Division. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, you know, uh, they 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 broke the Ubisoft book record for day one sales. Really? Yeah. yeah. And becoming the biggest uh, quarter one launch in UK history. Um, wow. And the biggest ever first week for a new game franchise. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah. And Everyone's Yeah, playing. they generated like 330 <laughs> million globally in the first week. It's Everybody's crazy. Crazy. First, uh, uh For day one sale. Um, yeah, yeah and, right. and over 100 million hours played uh, within that. You know, time frame. I mean, I've I've personally clocked what we 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 haven't been playing too much because of work and all that stuff, but but I mean, we clocked what sixty to eighty hours. I don't even remember. seventy seventy Roughly. hours. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, actually, has overtaken Black Ops uh, three on the Xbox uh, as a most popular game. Yeah, and that's <laughs> so, pretty hard to do. It's, it's Call of Duty and it's <laughs> always online. So yeah. you know. It, it it shows you that you know it can succeed. Yeah. And but and, you have to do and it, right. it garners to that you know obviously it's not for everybody. Mm. That, that gameplay, but it garners to uh, that that popularity that that's becoming you know the new thing and it yeah. always online kind of creating a atmospheric world where not only NPCs and AI are running around but yeah. you have all the players you know. Yeah. And they distinguish it really well you know with obviously. I think the only thing that kind of makes Division always online is the Z. Yeah, which is the Dark Zone, which is like the PvP area. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know. Um, but I think if it wasn't for the DZ, it could be obviously offline. For yeah, the it, it could easily cool. be offline. Yeah. And you could just like find your buddies online and, and knock it out. I mean, that's what they do anyway. Yeah. Uh, you can still see other players in the safe houses. Like if you walk into a safe house, you can see other live players in your server just chilling around the safe house. But once... Once you leave the safe house, you don't see anyone else. So mm. kind of, it's kind of fun to see other players and check out their gear while you're running around. Absolutely, um, and it makes it, and they make it so seamless. Yeah, it's 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 like a living, living, breathing, you know, world out there, and it's it's jumping from you know, 
uh, I guess co-op play to uh, they did PVE a, yeah. is is crazy. They and did a really good job. There's no trend. There's really no transition time. You just walk in yep. one door, walk out of another, and you're online. You're you're playing against other people. But then you know when they have server maintenance, and that's obviously you know yeah. understandable, but. <laughs> it gets you pissed off. Like last night we were playing yeah. and they had a server maintenance and you know it gives you a counter obviously like an hour right before yeah. the, the, the the servers go offline. And uh you know you wanna you wanna play the game, you wanna, you know, loot and you wanna loot manage and Yeah, you know, we're 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 doing some PvP, some some A holes try to rogue us up and I mean, Dude, we, my heart was yeah, racing. The, the, we, Dude, messed, we messed their ass that, up, though. That, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I ran in there. The, dude, the last I, dude started running away. These, I mean, okay, he was so looking for his life. We just sniped his ass. And we got just so good. And uh, a few of our players uh, online, our friends, uh, we got into the DZ right before the servers shut down. I think it was like 10 minutes right before. Yeah. Okay. And we're like, okay, we're going to go rogue. And going rogue pretty much is you know killing other players, uh, much being online players, <laughs> yeah, and stealing their loot. <laughs> And so we're, we're running to this one, uh, extraction point and, uh, extraction points are where you actually have to extract the loot that you've gathered. And that's the only way to extract it to the regular world because it's contaminated. Anyway, there were some peeps that were near the extraction point and, uh, Gatsuga and two other players were kind of far behind. So I, uh, timer was running off and I was like, I'm going to aggro these fools. So I shot them up. They came running after me. Uh, my boy, uh, Talk. Yeah, Tog, he, uh, he, he helped me out, but we, we took down two. They were, there were four of them, I believe, and yeah. we went down, but then, uh, Gatsuga and, uh, another player got there, and. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, was, just like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but dude, man, that, that gave me up. such a rush. I mean, and that's, that's what games are all about. Like, you know, that heart rate, that, yeah, that experience. I mean, it, 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 it just, felt, it was scary, cause, you know, they got enough perks in there to make you, to make you, you know, question what you're about to do. You're like, yeah. man, what are these guys rocking? You don't even know the kind of gear they have. You don't know what their stats so are. The game tells you when the servers are going to come up? Yeah, yeah. It tells you, gives oh. you an hour, and then it gives you, like, a big-ass warning in 10 minutes. It's like, you know, get the fuck off. Oh, really? Finish your mission. You know, and we're just like, man, I don't give a fuck. Let's just go in there and shoot some people. <laughs> <laughs> so we just <laughs> we just rolled in there. So I have a question. So since it's only online, where do you do the story mode? Story mode's technically offline not not it's not offline but it's not in the pvp world it's synced to everybody's yeah. players i mean so if i was to play my single player my characters or the ai npcs would uh sync with daniel if he was to join my game yeah um it's like a big server i don't know how they do it daniel daniel uh, said something about they have like a migration or something yeah they have, they have post like migrations to different servers and servers get full they got the uh, I believe they use a, a what's called a global cooldown. Yeah, that's what you were talking the, uh, about. So pretty much everyone has the same, like all the enemies are in the same spot. You know, I I I read it somewhere, but I mean, pretty much it keeps everything synced up so that we both know where we are and where enemies are. See, and and I mean, you know, the online obviously always online is is it creates an atmosphere obviously, and and but I think there's ways to. Go about it where, you know, server maintenance doesn't affect your gameplay, but say have backup servers or yeah. something, you know, oh, and, that's true. and have somebody, you know, play on a backup server and then once they do server maintenance, migrate everybody to the new servers. Yeah. Obviously that's going to cost a little bit more, but the numbers these games are generating now by being always online, you can't pirate, it, pirate them, you know, um, I think they're they're capable, and especially with the, all these season passes and mm -hmm. DLC coming out, yeah. and you know this other crap you can buy like costumes. And yeah, I think that they they can actually um, you know expand on their servers. Yeah, so. I mean video games also cost a shit ton more to make than you know back in the day. Yeah. A lot. I mean, I mean, it takes uh, how many studios? Millions. I think there was like four or five studios that were doing the division. Yeah, yeah. hundred. Well, I don't even know what the number was. I think I read one hundred and thirty million, one hundred forty million. Yeah, one hundred and thirty million. I think for the division. So I mean, that's a huge chunk of change. It's all. It's like movie, like not high budget movie, yeah. but like pretty close to high budget movie. You know, budgets. <laughs> I, I figure since we're on this topic, right? This whole online shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> like. Okay, I, I get it. You know, it's I, I I get it. You want to have multiplayer, but I still feel like there should always be an offline story mode. Like I, to me, man, I don't know. Maybe I just that's just the way I grew up. But I like that's one of the reasons why I don't even play Division because I don't want to go online. I don't want to fucking play with other people. I just want to play a story mode. 
You know, it's like. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's always going to be a place for like, uh, immersive cinematic experiences, you know, things like that. Uh, good single player campaigns. I mean, I, you know, me, I play RPGs like a motherfucker. Yeah. But, I love story based But games. do you feel like it's going to go to the point where there's never going to be any I don't, I don't any think single my RPG, player, you think it's always just nah, going to be straight nah, up nah, multiplayer? I don't think so. I don't think it'll always be multiplayer. Um, like, for for example, RPGs. RPGs. There's there's no need for it to be online. They 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 probably might throw some kind of BS online shit just to uh-huh. say it's online and keep it protected from piracy or, uh-huh. or something like that. Because piracy is a semi big issue, you know. Uh-huh. Um, no real numbers have been put out or anything like that, but it is an issue. But I don't think I don't think RPGs. I don't think story based games. Quantum Breaks coming out doesn't have to be online. You know? I don't believe so. No. Yeah, you know, Fallout didn't need to be online. Although it would be tight to have some co-op in there. You I know, think even couch co-op. Online, mm-hmm. online, always online, is going to be garnered towards open world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where you create the experience. Mm-hmm. Because if it's a huge world, you want, you want diversity and yeah. you know different players and and that 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 creates you know variables that you can't predict. Yeah. And, uh, the experiences. I mean, that's why, if you, if you look at the, at the popularity of games, what kind of games are the most popular games right now? First person shooters, Call of Duty, multiplayer. Yeah. You have zombies, like, you multiplayer. know, uh, multiplayer, but you can also, also be offline, but you have single player as well. But that tends to run maybe eight hours, six hours well, max. The, the whole and then everybody thing. switches to multiplayer. So yeah. the mass population and game gamers at least are moving, you know, for that experience, that that constant, like, you know, I don't know, satisfaction. It's I guess. just a, it's it's mostly like bragging rights. You know, you're better than someone else. That's essentially what yeah. It is. But it also extends the actual value of the game. True, a good a good multiplayer does, but there there is the there is a place for a a story game. Which one? Witcher, exactly. It's a very good example. Witcher is a pretty big story. You've it's never a played Witcher? Story. Dude, it's I've a seen game. it. I haven't played it. Huge lore, it, a good world, you know, stuff like you that. You don't like that kind of uh, No, man, medieval times shit. Nah, dog. <laughs> I'm not really into <laughs> medieval times. But find a dragon. You fight a griffin. A griffin. A griffin. Shove him <laughs> in his face, that, decapitate that, him, and then hang him off your horse. And have sex. Depends, on a unicorn, man. you know what happens. <laughs> like, like, the, like, alert. like those open, open world games and whatever. I'm, I'm more into arcade like games where it's just like still it's fast paced, it's, it's bright, it's loud, and it's just fun. Like whereas, like something like The Witcher is like, well, how about I got to roam around and just? I think that's fun. I like it. I like. But that's what I'm saying. I, like I'm completely different. I, I need something just like. I'm gonna throw a wrench quick. in your in your wheel here. I'm right. gonna throw a Rocket League in here. Yeah. So right, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so Rocket League, you. you Rocket League is exactly that. It's very arcade like. You can't tell me it's but not it's, arcade like. But it's multiplayer. Yeah, it's it is multiplayer. multiplayer. You, don't, you don't want to touch that shit. You don't want to touch single player. You know, the, the, it the depends. I would, you know what? I was thinking about it. I would if they made the AI smarter. The but, AI is right, too right. fucking but stupid. But what, what are you essentially going to do? But even like, you're going to, tra- you're training. You're so, training so, real, you know, what would players. be cool if it, if it, it actually had a, like, let's say it had like a tournament, right? Where you, where you're like, like, like Mario Kart, there's different cups. Yeah. And as you, there's different like levels, and then as you continue, the the team gets harder. Like I think that shit would be dope, and it'd be like different looking cars, and it'd be fucking tight. Yeah. <laughs> I think that should be tight. I, I, think I mean, it's cool. it's it, it definitely there 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 are going to be games but, that are really at, single player at, and and you know that 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 kind of gear towards that kind of crowd, but I think the popularity is moving to always online. Well, kind of Rocket League is is twenty bucks. It's, it's all, it's all multiplayer. Okay. Because, I mean, that's what people want. They, they have, it made, it made, uh, MLG, you know, like, that's what people want. They want Mm -hmm. the the experience of talking shit to other players. You know, they want the bragging rights of being higher tier than someone else, you know, like, that's why you play ranked. Granted, I enjoy playing casuals a lot because then you can practice all your stupid shit. Like, you know, I do little flip goals and, you know, all that crazy stuff, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be doing that shit in like ranked. Mm-hmm. I'm actually like 100% serious. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm like, nope, nothing fancy, straight, just straight angles. Totally, totally calculated. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the, the DRM is also a big push. Um, you know, always online means you can't pirate the damn thing. Yep. And pirating, uh, I mean, was pirating even a big thing? Like, did you buy pirate games? Like, 
Look, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. When was it I'm big? Not gonna, like PS2, you know, Xbox. I'm like, not gonna set myself up here, but I have pirated a game or two, <laughs> and I bought. I bought. I bought the game. Like I literally have, and I'm not even just saying that. I literally have bought the game. There are games that when I, you know, I'm they're really questionable. You know, I'm looking at them like I don't know, man. I'm trying to drop sixty dollars on this shit and it sucked. Mm-hmm. So you know, I'll, I'll go in there and I'll I'll download it, a little sample download, totally legally, <laughs> and. Uh, and I'll, and I'll play it and I'm like, you know what? This game's tight. I'll buy it. Like, no problem. And, and that may be just me. Yeah. That might just be me because there are people who pirate it. And I know a few who pirate it, but won't buy the game. You know what I mean? And, and they're like, yeah, well, I already have it. I'm like, yeah, well, you're not going to get another one. That, that's really so my when, argument. When you're saying pirate, you mean PC, right? Cause I mean, how do you pirate? Well, well let's, let's take it back. Let's okay. take it back. We got to talk years. about, yeah, we got to go back to the beginning of the To industry. the PSP. That's all I got to say. Not even PSP. PSP. I mean. Uh, like, we gotta we gotta go back to like uh, back when what are they called five and a quarter inch floppies were available. <laughs> I mean, SimCity, yeah. great example. I mean, you buy a disc, if mm-hmm. you you can copy the disc to disc, you know, or yeah. from from hard drive to disc. And you know, PC always has struggled with pirating. You know, okay. it's, it's, it's just mod, it's easy huge. To mess with. And, and, and it was a big problem for uh, the PlayStation, uh, as well. I remember going to Russia and I'm from Moscow, uh, if anybody's interested. Um, anyway, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless uh, plug. Single, ready to mingle. <laughs> I remember going, uh, you know, to, uh, even out in the street, you have these kiosks and, and stores that are selling DVD, not DVDs, but but CDs of PC games and PlayStation One games. And the PlayStation One games worked. I and doubt they worked. Remember, I yeah. bought games from Russia. Remember, yes, I, this will bring like like eight hundred. Yeah. Did, didn't you have to do something weird? No, to, not these Russian ones. No, nope. some of the Chinese ones that I got, they yeah. were. You needed like the. I had the Golden Finger was on my PS One, and dude, I don't know, but I've told you before, my PS One had so many hacks and mods on it that it had to be played. Sideways disc open with like a piece of paper covering the laser <laughs> so the light wouldn't hit it right. Didn't they have yeah. the the which which system um I, I, or at least iteration had the the black discs on the back? The PS One, yeah, PS One. PS1. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what brings me back to like that whole <laughs> time. And I, I mean, you walk to the store, and this was back in Russia. And Russia pirate a lot of. I mean, a lot of their you know copies. Well, you how much was a game legitimately in Russia? If you were to buy it legitimately. Uh, I mean, obviously, the, the prices bucks, were different. It? No, cheaper. In Portugal? I'm from Portugal, if anyone's interested. <laughs> uh, not, not, not ready to mingle, but, you know. Um, no, but there were... Portugal, discs cost like $90. Especially now, PS4 games. My cousin is like, he, he, he's, he's literally like, yo, can I, I'll, I'll buy a PlayStation from America and you just buy me games and send them to me. Because the console itself is like almost a thousand dollars, and the, the games themselves are like ninety to a hundred and twenty dollars. A hot game like GTA V run you like a buck ten, buck twenty, or something like that. You know, like they're expensive. You know, I have I have cousins out there like yo. Oh, well, that's why pirating was so big because people sometimes can't afford, and you know they they resort to other you know methods. Yeah, I mean. And it's been going on for, you know, 30 years. Look at, and again, I'm going to bring this up, PSP. PSP failed terribly because it was so easy to pirate. That's the same thing with Dreamcast. It was so easy. Dreamcast had that problem. I, Dreamcast yeah. was, I think, the easiest. NPC, yeah, has, NPC has also, um, you know, has had the same issue. It's just... Yeah, it, PC's been getting it. They, they, everything, you know, that comes out that's not DRM, you find them on the torrent... Or back in the day, they were selling CDs, just burnt CDs, you know, mm-hmm. a copy of it, and that's it. And that's why there there hasn't been as much development and push for, you know, triple A games on the PC oh, than really? there are on consoles. Mm-hmm. You know, especially this generation and, and previous generation when, you know, they Sony PlayStation 3 actually yeah. had the unbreakable until it got broken. <laughs> uh, yeah. But then they passed well, that's what it. They get for trying to ch- that's few. what they get for challenging people. They're like, you can't do it. No, someone in the world's gonna do it, man. But the crazy thing, I mean, about that, there was one key, and there was one key authentication key in the world, and it was at Sony headquarters in a vault. <laughs> really, <laughs> highly secured. I don't know how they got to it, if a but person they, did they it, a person can undo it. 
they got that one key that had the encryption for all the games, and it's basically like a marriage. It's like if it matches, it's all game. <laughs> if it matches, it's all game. <laughs> like a marriage. Um, you know, but you know, the pirating has as as definitely um, has definitely hurt the industry, at least in the PC. And I mean, I would say even 360. You know, there was a lot of um, really? pirating. Yeah. Actually, dude, I modded was, my box. I got banned. There, you know, I, got, I did. I modded <laughs> mine. I got banned. Dude, there, there. So there's, you know, I don't know. You guys know much about the Sega Saturn, but I have never seen any pirated stuff on the Sega Saturn. So there's got to be a way that there's just like it's too hard to make. Well, no, that was probably just because back then they couldn't do it. Dude, I, I but can, that was around the PS1 days. I can find you, well, maybe, but nobody wanted Saturn, they wanted PlayStation. <laughs> but even today, like, there's no, you know, now they, they can make games for, like, they make games for Dreamcast, even now. Yeah. They don't make any, like, newer games for the Saturn. You mm -hmm. know, like, I, you know, the I, biggest problem I think was for Pirate Games is the lack of demos. Yes. Oh my god, yes. So much yes. What do you mean? Just like, there's tons of demo the, back in the day. The damn game, if you like it, you, well, not you now. feel the, in, not you now. feel the desire and, to purchase the game. Back in yeah. PS1 and, days. But dude, you gotta go to fucking Pizza Hut and buy a pizza to get a goddamn demo. Disc. <laughs> or just take it from the PS1 magazine. Then that would be stealing stuff. <laughs> so you know what? what I'm saying? I'm just, no. I'm just saying like, like I go on PlayStation 4, right? And I'm like, you know what? I, I, I really do. I have money to buy games now. You know, like, I'm an adult. I got money to buy games. And I will give money they to... They don't have game. demos on PS4? They barely have demos. I remember 360 used to have demos, didn't go, they? Go, go try a demo of the, of the Division. Is there? Fuck no. Yeah. Well, th that's where EA does it really yeah, well. Yeah, I was just about to go um, on. You know, if you get the EA access, at least on the Xbox One, you can how play the game well, for 10 before hours before they get the whole damn hold on, game. Hold on, how much is it though? It is a monthly service. 30 trip. bucks for a year? 30 a year. You do have to pay. But it's 30 a year and you get a discount on games. If you 10% off. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. So that's actually a pretty good way of doing things. Yeah. I hate to admit. We're sponsoring. Yeah. I hate, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate to admit though. it because you know me. I, I fucking, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of EA, but I, I, I can't, I can't deny it. It's a great, I, I feel like it's a great concept. I mean, you yeah, but there's also for ten hours. That's yeah, that's, that's ample time. To oh, like, ten hours is is like you played Need for Speed. Yeah, and you liked it. Yeah, and I bought and it. You bought it. Yeah, I burned through the ten hours. I was like, shit, I want to modify. You're, but uh, they, they can't. They can't have a ten hour game like in Uncharted. You'd beat the game. That's true. But, true. But but give it a a, a thirty scaled, a scaled thirty minutes. minutes. Nah, thirty minutes. Nah, that's two. I, I say like two an hours. Hour. No, I give it an hour. An hour, an hour is good. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I, I think Xbox One does demos right now for one hour. Look, full game, you play for an hour, and then it cuts you off. Yeah, and then if you like yeah. it, it's already installed. Yep. So and it makes it really easy. Purchase it. That's it. What the fuck? Just get some demos. That that's it. Like I twenty bucks says piracy would get cut in half. You just put out some goddamn demos. Dude, yeah. dude, I remember back in the day, right? We had this. Uh, I got this one uh, PlayStation Magazine demo disc, right? Yes, sir. And they had Tony Hawk. It has posted. It had Tony Hawk's <laughs> Pro Skater. First time I ever played it, and it and it was just one level. It was inside the yeah, the, the, the skate the, park uh, inside the of like the hangar. Yeah, it was inside the hangar, and dude, that I played that demo forever, <laughs> dude. Yeah. That's all I played was at one level, and it was like, I don't know, it was like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> like what was that song? It was like, da, da, na, na. I, I don't know. remember, man, but da, I remember. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I was there dude. with you, man. I, yeah. didn't know, I didn't know you, but I knew you in spirit. We were in that hangar together. Yeah, dude. Oh, man, those demo discs, though. But the, the, uh, going with that and the whole demo thing, people, you know, there's... On that, on that note of like, I have money to buy games. I don't want to spend sixty dollars on garbage. <laughs> sixty dollars. I mean, garbage. that's that's plain and simple. If you give me a demo, I'm more likely to spend my money. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if I don't have a demo and I think the concept of the game is good, there is a chance that someone might download it first, try it, yeah, you know, pirate it, and there you go. There's there's one of those, you know, one of, you you lost a potential sale because half those people who pirate. Or just gonna be like, well, I already have the game. Dude, you know, I don't need to buy like it. Like I said earlier, doesn't didn't the 360 have a demo for every game online? I don't remember. Because I, 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 mm. I remember I would download demos I and I play them and I play them. Maybe they're, certain games. Yeah, I don't think every game. You know, because really. I remember. Okay, so there was this King of Fighters, but it was a shmup, and it was basically the King of Fighters. Like they are the spaceship; they're just flying in the sky. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> but I, I was like, oh shit, you know, that's something. I was like, that's so weird. So I, I, I remember I downloaded the demo and I played it, and I was like, 
well, this game's garbage, and I didn't buy it. <laughs> well, yeah. But there was a demo for it. That's the problem. That's the one thing I bet you they don't do demos is because they don't want people not to buy their game. Oh, because it's garbage? Yeah. yeah I mean, they're garbage, yeah. Yeah. Well, they gotta step it up then. Stop making garbage games. A lot of people, lot of people don't listen. <laughs> Capcom. <laughs> Mega Man! Ah, just saying. Uh, but Mega yeah, I too. think DRM is, is, is definitely, uh, gonna, gonna push a lot of players to spend money, actually. You know, if they wanna play the game, um, they're gonna have to. You know, especially with, with current gen consoles, PS4, Xbox One, there's no way to, uh, to fire it right now. You know? Yeah. And the PC is moving to, I believe it's called the, the Nuvo, the Nuvo. I don't, I, I can't the pronounce Nuvo. it. It's something. <laughs> D-E-N-U-V-O. The Nuvo. The Nuvo. Anyway, um, like a it's a brand water. new, well, it's not brand new. <laughs> like but... I break the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, but it's a it's a pretty recent uh, anti uh, pirating uh, software um, that that you know people can't hack right now. And there's a, a group actually that suggests they hacked it, and they're the 3DM. It's a Chinese um, cracking group or some something like that. Anyway, they uh, they believe that they hacked it, and uh, but before. They're like, listen, we're gonna take a, a year or two off because, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty much unhackable. Hmm. Um, and now they're saying that they actually hacked the um, the anti-piracy software, and it, it pretty much unlocks now Just Cause Three, I think FIFA 16, uh, Need for Speed, and um, a couple other ones. I don't know, but uh, they. They, 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 if they said it, I mean, I don't know, man, they're, they're pretty good. Um, so they, they might have hacked it, but right now, uh, these, these, all these new PC games mm-hmm. that you can't pirate them. These people, they just want a demo. That's it. <laughs> That's all they want. <laughs> they want know, they, they're trying it's to play FIFA. It's not their fault. It's they're not just their trying fault. to play FIFA. They're just pirating you know? it for you. Know? They but got like, <laughs> but, it, but they it, might even only have money to buy one game a year. Who, who knows? But this I'm is where saying. online games come in and it's, it, it, it's kind of like, Hand in hand, you know, it, it complements each other. Um, studios are, are recognizing that they can actually make profit, more profit by, you know, restricting people from pirating games. And, you know, who's to say you pirate a game and you say you're going to buy it, but yeah, maybe not like, like, eh, okay, I don't so feel this like is, this $60. Is, <laughs> I really go to dinner. This or is my, I already yeah. got the game. No, no, this is my point of view on that. If, if, and, if, and if anyone, I'm, I'm sure anyone listening is going to have the same opinion. Um, I, I can't think of a game like right now, like something, something tight that, that you really like. Okay. We'll say Street Fighter. I'm wearing a Dead Space shirt. Okay. Okay. Not Let's say shirt Dead three. Space. I like Dead Space though. The Witcher 3 was free DRM and 80% of that game on PC got pirated. Yeah. That's, that's a shame. 80%. And, and CD, CD Projekt Red, yeah. they are such a great company. And I, they, they, they still up. made lots of money on Steam. Yeah. And that was the only, you know, system that, that kind of prevented so, the, oh, hold on, hold on. The, that thing ahead, went on a, a different client that didn't have so DRM. All I'm saying is, is you like, you like The Witcher, right? You know, you like the game. She was amazing. It was a really good game. Yeah. If game you pirate it, yeah. If you pirate it though, they're not going to make another, well, granted, they're not making another one because that's the end of this franchise, but they're working on Cyberpunk. Yep. Something. Oh, that game was fucking sick. Yeah. So, so yeah. that money, that's all my that game. money that they didn't that's get, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, that money, that money that, that they didn't get from the people who pirated could have gone into know, another great game. I know. And this studio gives out free DLC. Like they gave out so much free shit. Yeah. They put their heart and soul yeah. into the game. I, and I was, people didn't appreciate it, basically. Well, they did, but the thing is, the people who pirated it have a lot of shit, lot, lot of shit to talk. You know, they're like, oh, just, well, I can't get this shit to work. I'm like, I'm like, buy a fucking legal copy of the game. You wouldn't have to worry about patches coming out every day with, with fucking viruses and shit on them. Yeah. Just buy the real game. If you can't afford it off break, it'll go on sale eventually. You know, you might miss out a little bit. You know, you might yeah. not be able to talk to your friends about it the first month or two. But, but developers like CD Projekt Red, they deserve our money. And I mean, I I will easily give my money to the developer that one listens to people. But look at Rocket League; it's another one. Oh yeah, I got that shit for free. Yeah, you know, because yeah, it was it was a free game. Uh, I got it on PS Plus. Mm-hmm. Dude, out of just principle, I buy every DLC because I play that game so fucking much. Yeah. And I bought it on the Xbox One. And it was a leg- legitimately free 
Like I didn't download it, nothing. I still feel bad that I didn't pay them money. I was like, I want it. I want these guys to have my money because I want another, I want more DLC. I want more, more good content. They listen to their fans. They're, they're a great company. You know, mm-hmm. you pirate this kind of stuff. These, these companies are going to become more ruthless. You know, they're going to become EA or Ubisoft. Granted, I mean, they're just, they're so, just companies, but. But think about it though. Yeah. You know, if they don't get that money, they're going to be like, you know what? I guess nah, maybe DRM is the right one. I or agree. Maybe we shouldn't give them free deals. And it's like, I guess the moral story is <laughs> gamers are just a bunch of dickhead douchebags that just fucking they don't <laughs> yeah. give a shit. You know what I mean? And at Next the end time, of the day, they're the ones that fucking ruin it for everybody. Next time you pirate a game, at least go on Steam and check if it's on sale and give them some money. Yeah. You know, you I wish they did a study. <laughs> <laughs> you worthless piece. I wish of they shit. did a study on the statistics, at least the demographics of it's pirating, a, you know, games. It'll be it'll be interesting to see it's, it's a what country, what uh gender, <laughs> what age group, you know, kind of pirate. And I think I think the younger crowd does it more because than it's cool. Well no, yeah. because no, also income is good. a big problem. Yeah. You know. I think uh I think money plays a big big uh money plays a big part in everything i mean let's let's i'm gonna step out i'm gonna step out of this uh, video game circle for a second for two things back in the day when anime was at suncoast dude two episodes of an anime for 30 40 dollars the fuck was that about <laughs> you know of course i'm gonna go pirate that shit because there's like 800 episodes in like one piece alone i'm not gonna drop 30 dollars per two episodes get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah that's i'm not doing it that's great. And then, and then even, okay, and then another thing, Game of Thrones, it's pirated way more than it's, than it's actually legitimately watched on HBO. Yeah. Really? At least that's what I read on the internet, because everything on the internet's true. But, <laughs> Google's right. <laughs> yeah. But, dude, they, they make so much money. Because people love that show, they love the series, you know, they want the DVDs, they want the shirts, they want the replica helmets and fucking, you know, uh, who the fuck knows? Yeah. Like copies of you know new busts of like you know Daenerys <laughs> Targaryen, but uh, but you know they want that stuff and people will at least pay money for like you know swag. But well, HBO alone makes a lot of money. It's not that's, there's just one show, you know. Yeah. Um, it's the subscriptions, yeah, that, I mean, you know. But that show looks like it takes people, a lot of money per episode. Yeah, that yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, a yeah. fucking movie every yeah, episode. It's epic, you know. But it's think epic. about it. If, if it wasn't for the Game of Thrones, like What's swag. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> If it wasn't for the uh, for the merchandise, they they we probably wouldn't have any more seasons. You know, gra- you know, granted, Rocket League is a small, you know, Sionics is a small company, and you can get some. Ro- I bought some posters, you know, They're yeah. expensive for posters, mm-hmm. but I think they look tight, and you know, it's cool. Well, that's how they make money. their money. They make it in accessories, DLC, yeah. and uh. Well, I they- mean, obviously now it's released on the Xbox One. Yeah. It's twenty bucks, dude. They made seventy million dollars. Yeah. I saw that shit. And because that, people like me think they're like, yeah, yeah they made so a great. shit ton oh, the of fucking money. And that's not even including the ones that people download for free like you. Yeah. What, you about, know what, I mean? what about Minecraft? Minecraft was pirated back then. I mean, I, even I had But it. how much money did it make? Yeah, that's true. That was, Oof. that was, that was such a weird thing. It's a weird phenomenon. You can't like use Minecraft as, as an example. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean it hit the hearts of every young nerd everywhere because it's like it's it's an endless supply of Legos to build whatever the fuck you want. What, I, like, With zombies. Uh, okay. And finding loot. It's what, like everything. What is it about Legos that's just so big and popular? I don't get it. I don't, it's fun. It's I don't fun get to build. Legos, dude. I don't get it. Um, I told this one girl the other day, I was like, yeah as a kid I hated Legos. I still don't like them. She's like, are you serious? It's like, I never, I didn't, I don't know. She was just like in shock. She was like, I pictured you liking Legos. I'm like, no. I like, what you trying to say? I'm, in, I'm indifferent to them. <laughs> I like, I'm in yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like action figures. That's what I like. You well, know? you know me. I like Legos. I love Legos. I like building that shit. I'm You're also, a little kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a little big kid. Yeah. But also, also, you know, I play Minecraft. I, I like yeah. building shit. I, if I have the money, I'd, I'd build a lot of shit. I like building shit. I'm a tinkering kind of person. You know, maybe you're, you know, psycho, you're a collector. You like but I don't think Minecraft has yeah, DRM, true. and you don't have to be always online. But it's also cheap. First of all, it's a cheap offer. You yeah. know, that's another thing. Price, price, man. You know, 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. Minecraft right? was 20 bucks? Yeah, Minecraft before was like, what, 10 bucks? Yeah, And then cheap. 20 bucks. And now it's like, a bunch, you can buy extra DLC yeah. and stuff. I mean, it but was a small it. studio. 20 bucks. I mean, it was, you're not, you're, you're not going to hurt your wallet. Fucking billionaires. Yeah. Well, the guy got paid off by yeah. Microsoft, bought yeah. him out. And, um, I don't know how much money they made. He made so much money. 
Think about that, it. Though. I think his, bucks. his his kids, his kids' kids, his kids' kids' kids will yeah. never have if, to work. Ever. Would you would you buy Rock? I mean, I mean now I would obviously because I know Rock. Yeah. And I'm using this because that's a game we play currently yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, but if you had never played it, would you pay sixty dollars for it? If I never played yeah. it, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't pay. It's steep. Yeah. yeah. But now knowing after now playing it, would you pay still? Yeah. I, I I would easily steep, drop though. sixty bucks. Yeah. It's still steep. I would or, drop sixty for an indie game. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Uh, for the amount of shit I put in that game, yeah, I pay sixty. Dude, I already have I already have fifteen hundred matches played. On yeah, that shit. but I'm just saying like twenty dollars isn't gonna hurt your wallet. But that's where also I think the price you know, price points a big if, thing. If 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 developers were to price point these games at like forty dollars, you know how much more money I think they would make. I I mean, sixty is like you know questionable. Yeah. Is it good? Is it yeah. bad? I have to look at the reviews. Yeah. And nowadays you got to think about season passes. Forty dollars, you're like, hmm, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, yeah. Twenty, you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's twenty bucks. I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. like that with 30. If it's 30, I'd be like, oh, that's, that's a totally good question. Yeah. 40's like, okay. Mm-hmm. I think the margins will, would, you know. But again, they, you know, people argue that piracy is the reason that, the piracy and the cost of games and the demand for high, you know, higher, higher gra- graphically stimulating games well, is the reason that they're, they're 60 bucks. I mean, that's a huge. Go back to division. Good point. Good point. You know. I mean, I bought a collector's edition. It came with all the DLC. I'm straight. I got a watch and a pouch and a book and a poster. And I mean, I like if it's a game I really like, like a you know, like a Mega Man or something. I definitely get the collector's edition. I doubt game. you devs for anything are going to be listening to this, but if you make a bomb ass collector's edition, people will buy your shit. Oh, of anything. Yeah. You throw in like some tight, like you saw him throw in some tight gear and a season pass. Dude, what, what's the what? dude? I'd easily pay a hundred bucks. It co- already comes with the season pass, and you get extra stupid what's shit. What's that collector's edition of uh, Mirror's Edge that's coming out? Oh, they and... fixed that. It oh. comes with the game. Oh, it comes with yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah. No game. No, that's what it was. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Shit, you what? Know? Yeah, it was a collector's edition with no game. hundred and fifty dollars, no game. Not even a download. Ah, that's so. That's dude, it comes with a physical. I don't know. I think uh, it, I don't know what it comes with, but I, I don't know, know if that's EA greed it. or that's EA mistake. No, that they they were they were greedy, dog. They they had to be greedy. Was there a backlash over this? Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, yeah. I was like I was yeah, like Mirror's yeah. Edge. I'm not even buying it out of principle. Like I literally. <laughs> that was game like, looks gorgeous. Though. I don't care. I was like, nah, I, I'm not that buying it. Tight. I was like, you trying to sell a collector's edition with no game and no season pass yeah. for a buck twenty or a buck fifty, and you get some bookends? Dude, the fuck out of here. Who's the developer of, uh, Mary Yo, if you got a pair of sneakers know. with that joint. Who is the developer in that? I'll be on that. Mm. If you got her, like, split toe Pumas, that'd be tight. <laughs> I, I'd rock that shit. You'd have to get your own size. You pre-order. Okay, yeah. what size do you want? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, nine? I'll take a ten. Oh, you're sold out. Fuck. <laughs> I'll take a ten and a half. I can, sque- I can, I can flop around in those. I can squeeze bit. in there. It's that. dice. I totally forgot. Dice? I don't even know that joint. Yeah, dice. Dice. Um, but it's EA dice. Um, Versus, you know, rolling device. <laughs> All right, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I I mean, you know, online is uh, always online is a double edged sword, but it's gonna it's gonna move towards that realm anyway. Um, you it's know, the right. internet is becoming more you know, more consistent. You know, in terms of quality and you know stability yeah. and you know Google, speeds are increasing you know, i want you to bring fiber over here to maryland yes we live in silver right. spring maryland silver Kensington. spring yeah Wheaton. right here we, you got you got like a bajillion people you want my address <laughs> <laughs> hit, me up, hit me up i need a job <laughs> uh, yeah, all three of us do we, you know, we, we happily work <laughs> but, uh, i'll anyway. buy fiber all over the place yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think in conclusion, what we could easily say is that I agree with uh, with ProLogic. Always online, online in general is not going anywhere. It's it's the future, plain and simple. But you know, at least throw in a an offline single player, some some type of offline mode that when you you got to do your server maintenance, that we can do some. You know, I mean, it could be play. limited, yeah. or it could be migrating servers to a different server. You know, I don't know, I don't know what you got to do, but. Um, you, you get, you know, you get the tweets and, um, Ubisoft, I mean, you're, 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 Gosh, you're, you're Twitter's stupid. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I'm it's, it's a, it's a great, you know, opinion. It's, it, people can make their voices heard through Twitter. 
and just the masses, you know, like when I went on the division uh, Twitter page yesterday, you should have seen the the outlash when the servers went down, even though they said and they made articles about it and, you know, no, they, they talked about Netflix, it. But, <laughs> uh, but, but, I read a book. But, you know, that whole, if you're going to be always <laughs> online, always online, you have to have a contingency plan. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has to be there. Yeah, you know? I, agree. I agree. Having a game down when you paid $60 the first hour or so because the servers can't handle the, the load of people going yeah. into the server. They're like, they're like, yes, I pages. understand, but yeah. it's unacceptable that I can't log into the game that just paid 60 or 100 and whatever, yeah. 20 or $50 for the collector's edition. Um, I just, uh, I think that needs to be, uh, obviously fixed and uh, a lot more attention needs to be paid to it, uh, as a developer. Um, but, I think it's the only only way to kind of prevent you know piracy and yeah. developers get money. I was actually pro piracy back in the day. I I, I seen the light. You know, I see like <laughs> well, no, I, I see I see what it what it's doing to the industry that I love, and I'm I'm definitely not all about that anymore. I was never yeah. in piracy. So you buy you buy a cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, like, I agree with you guys. I personally do this shit. <clears throat> I just want a fucking arcade mode, man. That's all I want. Single player, dude. you plug it Single in. Single player, dude. That's, you that's, just that's, stick to that's indies. You'll be straight. I want. Exactly. New Ninja Turtle joint coming up. Oh, dude. Yeah. That shit better not be no fucking <laughs> only online bullshit. It would be stupid. I hope that shit has couch co-op, dude. I'm sure it is. It, that, dude, it want. better be. It's going to have couch co-op. There's no way. I, dude, if it doesn't, I'm fucking, oh my god, I'm going to be so pissed. We'll go down there and we'll, we'll throw bottles okay. of green, green ooze. <laughs> green ooze, okay. Yeah. All right, well, I guess that's it. Anything else? Nothing? That's it? No, 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 no. Okay. See you, right. see you next time. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, so System Psycho. Pro Logic, Gatsuga, like, share, subscribe. Catch us on the iTunes. Catch us on the SoundCloud. We putting shit up every day. <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. Just sure, kidding. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll continue to make these uh, gamer um, podcasts. Uh, also, check out the the music podcast and the wrestling podcast we got up there too. So, um, again, if you guys have any comments, uh, leave them down below. Uh, any topics you want us to discuss? Any comments you have for us on what we discussed? We'd like to see the feedback and definitely try to get back to you guys so um other than that that's it guys peace, peace out guys. peace out <laughs>